Uh, can you listen to me? Yes. Ah, good. I'm Adel Kassa. I'm a computer science teacher in... Speak slowly. ...in Tunisia. Okay. We couldn't hear you well. Could you speak again, please? Slowly. Uh, I said I'm Adel Kassa from Tunisia. I'm a computer science teacher in middle school. Okay. Now we we have here because uh, uh, we have uh, two new members from Taiwan that are going just now introduce themselves. Please go on, people. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know anything. Taka, could you introduce yeah. yourself to the group, please? Okay, okay my I'm sorry. Uh, okay. You can call me. My name is Taka, and um, I'm a teacher. teacher. Hello, sir. Okay. We work together. We I work with, together with Mr. Chen, but now, now he's married. and I'm still uh, school and I at school. Uh, sometimes I teach uh, English and also a little bit of Scratch. So, so that's why I'm a little bit connected with uh, Scratch uh, coding application. And um, thank, thanks to Mr. Chen. Uh, so that I learned a lot from the open source uh, software or system that I use. So uh, that, that's why that I'm here. Because we are a open source group anyway. Mm -hmm. And I hope that's enough information for my <laughs> introduction of myself. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe um, Adele, could you turn off your microphone, please? Yeah. I'm hearing water. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, who's not speaking? Please turn off the microphone so we can have a better communication. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, we have a little connection problem. Everybody waiting for us or for Shen? No, Shen. Hello, everybody. Uh, my English is no good. I Okay, I think you will attach, attach uh, uh, a brief of an kind of uh, 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 Okay, it's better with the microphone. Yes. 
不想讲话就讲话，这样子。什么？对对对。我怎么这里啊？我怎么按住他的筋？麦克风就进。他就是你讲。我现在还讲什么？问题是我英文英文都不行。<laughs> so, uh, what's the status now? We are sorry about. Now it's time for Chen to introduce himself or beginning the session. Elisa? Okay, go on. That's right. Thank you very much. Please. Uh, introduce your name is because we don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry if I pronounce it wrongly. <laughs> okay, it's Taka Shen and yeah. Shen he, is Taka. Okay, he is Chen and I am Ten. Taka. Okay. Taka, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, how about we do something about PowerPoint uh, stuff? Okay. We begin now. Could you yeah. see in the left there's a screen share, a green green uh, with a white arrow. You can share your screen with that, if it's okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, tell us if uh, if we are on the track, on the right track or not. We will just begin our session, and yeah. just mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, Okay, sorry. Sorry. So is that uh, is it okay now? Can you can everybody see the screen? No, not yet. Yeah. Now. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. We can. Okay. See. So, Chen. My. Yeah. My name is Chen. Uh, Taiwan. Taiwan. Oh, I'm from Taiwan. Uh, fifteen three years old. This is my photo. Okay, uh, we are from Taiwan. Okay, so this is this is the map. All right, next slide. And Taiwan, and this is uh, where we work at. Uh, this is our school, elementary school. Yeah, just for you to have uh, a basic idea about how Taiwan is. 
And this is our campus when students are getting together, it's almost 2,500 kids at one school. Right? And this is our computer lab. Where Change the slide, please. Huh? Next I'm sorry? slide. Uh, next slide. Uh, I'm sorry, say again. Uh, could you please change the picture? We are still seeing the map. Uh, here you go. Thank you. So it's good now, right? Ah, now we can see. Thank you. Okay, so, um, so, have everybody seen this one? This is oh, just a regular gate. Uh, and normally, this is our computer lab for kids. And this is Chen. He's uh, teaching kind of a scratch and some Arduino things uh, in a club, I mean school club, after school, I mean. And this is one of the pieces that kids did, combi combining with some uh, uh, laser, laser, I don't know how it's called. And what, um, what Chen did is he is actually a leader of the uh, you know new Taipei City uh, kind of a leader in open source community in new Taipei City. Now we have twin city. One is called Taipei City, and the other one is New Taipei City. They are twin cities, and so we we are at New Taipei City. And this is what uh, the uh, the activity or the events that he once has held, all everything about Scratch for the kids in New Taipei City. And this is some, well, with uh, uh, some officials, um, some awarding anything about con contribution, about promoting Scratch and so on. And this is this is the uh, a balloon, a big, very big balloon. Have everybody has everybody seen this? Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if uh, everybody. <laughs> well, I just go on. And this is uh, some of the uh, trophy or some awards that once we held an event for whole um, new Taipei city. And as you can see, this is some, I don't know, it's called a trophy. Uh, and the official arranged some uh, activities. This is about uh, local events, combining with lo local activities together. It means it's, it's an important one, and government put some money on it. And you can see this is 105, which, which means the year of uh, 2016, which is last year, and this is what we did. This is official oh, people. Sorry, sorry, just a moment. Uh, yeah. Anders, are you recording? Recording? Anders. Yes. Anders? Yes. Are you recording? Okay, sorry, sorry. So are we recording? <laughs> Yes, we are recording, so oh, okay. the, the other, other people could see it afterwards. Okay, so is this so far so good? Now we catch the idea of our, our background, right? And now, That's wonderful. Thank you very much. And the, uh, I think, uh, to my understanding, uh, Chen, he wants to demo some uh, a scratch application in the uh, banana pie. Are you familiar with banana pie? Not raspberry pie, but banana pie. I've, I've heard about it, but it, it's the similar to raspberry pie. Yeah, 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 similar. Yeah. This is uh, this board, this uh, 
banana pie is made by you know Foxconn. Foxconn, uh, well, it's a very big company anyway in Taiwan, both in China too. And that this they made this ball called banana pie, and here we people use this uh, this pie uh, instead of raspberry pie because it's uh, more compatible with many uh, much more application or it can tailor made some recording stuff. Uh, I think it makes us easier using banana pie instead of raspberry pie. And Chen wants to show us is what he did is uh, he did on Scratch 2. Uh, Scratch 2, I think it's the second version, right? And, and according to him, it's uh, it's not it's not easy to have the uh, scratch to um, either on um, both Raspberry Pi and also Banana Pi. I'm not sure if it is correct, but uh, according to what he said. So is it okay that um, he shows the board how he did it? And I mean, the issue we met here in Taiwan is. It's very difficult with uh, Raspberry Pi. If you do it, do scratch on Raspberry Pi, it will be very difficult for us to put in Chinese character into the figure. Okay? So, what we did, one of the uh, problems solved is we can input Chinese character into the uh, scratch application. Uh, so, and the other, the other breakthrough, I don't know, uh, I'm not an IT guy, so I mean, maybe uh, he'll show and I will explain later. So, I think he's going to then uh, let you see the board, the banana pie, and, and what he did about this board and what do you think and this board banana pie is uh great is is only about 70 us dollar so for education use it will be very uh very i think it is cheap for using in education purpose and it's easy to use okay so yes we go on yeah that's Let's okay Ah, okay. I should demo. Please. All right, so we demo. So, uh, sorry, just a little brief. Banana pie, well, it's kind of a... Can you see the... Uh, can you now see the video? Okay, could you turn to page nine? Okay, Are you seeing the screen of the... Uh... No, you have to share the screen again, please. Okay. You see the PowerPoint now? Now, now it works. Okay, that's right. Maybe you should uh, put uh, presentation presentation mode. So it will yeah, be... this presentation, yeah? Um, okay. Okay, so you can see... Can you see Chinese letter now? Well, some, some letter you don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, none of them. This one is a little bit to understand, yeah? So, I mean, the point is here. Uh, US dollar 70, okay? It's not expensive. And we can do many things on this banana pie instead of raspberry pie. So, 
and and the good thing about Banana Pie is uh, Chen has used the uh, both uh, Android Android system and Linux system working quite well on this Banana Pie. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is for your reference. Uh, uh, I think we we'll skip this page. Now we have the issue is Chinese characters not able to be put into Scratch. It's not just a localization. It's about in the application. When coding, we cannot do anything Chinese. But Chen has done some breakthrough. Okay. <laughs> yes. And Scratch 2 uh, use a web offline. I'm not sure if I understand the meaning, but uh, I think maybe you guys know understand it. Uh, can execute the uh, offline on Banana Pi. So, okay, now Shane wants to demo. So we will switch the uh, camera. Okay, he's now switching the uh, No. Okay, are you following the us now, everybody? No. Yes. This is okay, thank you. So this is web offline. Okay, okay this is web, web offline okay. version on Banana Pi. This is web on the Uh, please, can you show the board, please? The board. Uh, you mean the, uh, the solid uh, board? Uh, uh, later, uh, I think Chen wants to say something. Uh, let me see. This is a banana pie M two P board. This. 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 Three water. Three watts. Three watts. Only three watts uh, input. This is Arduino sensor board. Arduino sensor board. Uh, sensor board. Yeah. This is to GPIO. Okay. Please put a little bit far. It's okay. out of focus. We can see. Yeah. Please. This is the GPIO and the sensor. Is it now? Is it good now? Oh. Oh, no yes. demo. Okay. Oh. 
Thank you. Are we? 防御系统有时全职分吗? Content to Adil now. Adel, can you see what you want to see? Adel. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, now this is... This is a transformer. We use the contact to Arduino. Between uh, Arduino and Banana Pi, there should be a interface, should I call it? Uh, this is to Qigong offline. Excuse me, do you know who Mr. E's lab is? Do you know Anders? Yes. It's Alan Jorkins. Yes, I know. It's, uh, oh, oh, sorry, he said that he, he's, he's ill too. I talked to him, but we are in contact. And next session, he's going to be, he's going to present a part of his work. Oh, that's So wonderful. I don't know if the guys knows who he's, he, <laughs> no, no. Shane, Mr. Isladby uh, is a friend of us. Uh -huh. Do you know? Do you know him? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think. Are you mean the other the other chair? Uh, Mister is is why for your kings? Uh, he's me a member of our group. He's very very brilliant person, yeah, he's and he okay. and he's going to present the next session. He's going to present his work for us. You mean is yeah. Yes, please. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, you mean next week uh, there will be person, another person from Taiwan who are introducing this one. Am I correct? Uh, Mr. Weiss Lab is made by Alan Yorikins. It's a friend of us. It's an American okay. teacher. And yeah. he is a member of this group too. Okay. All right. So I got it now. Now we are using this interface to connect uh, Arduino with uh, Banana Pi. Okay. So that's it. Now he's going to scratch to GPIO. Oh, yeah. Open. GPL example. Oh, now is your use pin eleven high and low. So it's a LED light is on and off. Okay.
Okay. Uh, yeah. I think now we should start uh, um, making questions. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I'm sure that they have a lot of questions to make. Uh, so uh, feel free. Now it's about you, my cheeky guys. <laughs> I have a question. Okay. I have a question. Uh, you have uh, you show uh, something with ESP8266. You wait, show wait, something. Wait. Got, Can you show wait. again? Let him stop. Let him stop with the noise. Okay. Make your question, please. Uh, I said uh, they showed uh, something with the board ESP8266. They started showing this and they stopped it. Uh, can they continue to show their work with the board? ESP8266, you have something with this board. Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure about the model number. What, what do you mean by ESP? Uh, the board. I, I, sh I, I saw it in your slide. Or, or no, I, uh, there is a board like Arduino called ESP8266. Okay. It is like Arduino, but with Wi-Fi. Yeah, you mean the one, the board that we are using? Exactly. You are using the ESP, right? Yeah. No, I, I think you have something with the uh -huh. ESP eighty-two sixty-six something uh, okay. that you made yourself in Chinese. Webduino, I think. So it's called. Uh, maybe you could write on the chat the number of the board so they can look for it. Uh, I'm using the phone. This is my problem. <laughs> Okay, is it answering your question or? Uno, R3, and the sensor box. Okay. Oh, okay, I catch you. DSP. ESP. Oh, ESP. Oh, ESP. Is Wi-Fi. Okay, no yes. problem. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, ESP. Oh, 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 ESP. Uh, extension, yeah, extension. Uh, 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 extension. We use this. Yes, yes, exactly. This is the this is the extension. Yes. Yeah. Uh, use this content because all uh, uh, they are doing a very good uh, thing with this extension, yeah. and all is in Chinese. Nothing in English. You can't understand anything. Oh, so that's your point. You mean only in Chinese, yes. not Chinese, uh, not English? Yes, that's because I know the, the tool, but I don't understand how it works. And I was really interested to know how it works. You understand? Yeah, 
ESP 八二六六 ，ESP 八二六是呃依然一个蒋老师。哦、oh, ，It's 呃、uh, ，我们可以帮他反映了，但是 OK， I I see a point. It's made from one of the teacher in another side of Taiwan. So obviously he doesn't really understand too much of English. So he can only he can only write in Chinese、uh, manual. <laughs> But we will yes, call him it's too、it. too bad. Really, I know he's one. If if this is really needed, <laughs> yes. Okay, good point. If you can translate, do it. We'll talk to him. We'll talk to him. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you, uh, can Baka, you another、uh, job for you translating this board. To our friends, you have to translate it again. <laughs> the teachers translated this ESP board.、Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, it's.、Uh, I think it'll be a lot of work. <laughs> Even myself don't doesn't really understand how it works. But but if we can do、uh, Chinese, why not? I can. I think I can do a basic English. Yes. I sometimes teach. Yes, yes, basic English. It's okay. <laughs>、uh, so, I think that's、uh, another question. Or I have a general question. I saw that you、uh, made, made、uh, those big events about Scratch. I'd like to know since when are you using Scratch、uh, and how. Is it、uh, how many children are involved? And because I saw that is a big event, isn't it? Could you talk a little bit more about these events and how long have you been doing this stuff? All right. Okay. About Scratch only. Okay, we are talking about Scratch in Taiwan.、Uh, we have these、uh, like Chen, like Chen. Uh, we have a group of seventeen members.、Uh, also, everybody's teacher, and we are focusing on open source.、Uh, open open everything open source. But one of it is Scratch, and Scratch is、uh, doing quite. I think it's quite well in the whole Taiwan. Okay, the whole Taiwan island. We have one time a year a big. Event, which is something about competition, about how do you show your、uh, piece, your your piece of your coding work,、uh, a kind of related a competition. So for these kids, and these kids mostly they are fifth fifth grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade mostly. Okay, but but for the whole prov, the whole country, whole Taiwan doing that, each. Uh, each county, we say county is a small part of, well, it's a unit, county, and、uh, each county will have a separate competition for for picking up a, the the better piece or the better stuff to go to the、uh, national competition, and we are in this、uh, new Taipei City organization, which we are very active in Scratch. Uh, we teach Scratch、uh, mostly at their age,、uh, at the sixth,、uh, fifth, fifth grade to sixth grade, and in class, in class, in computer class. By the way, we have only one,、uh, one class, which is fourteen, forty、uh, minutes computer hour in a week. So. It, Which is very,、uh, I think it's small. It's、uh, it's not a good.、Uh, well, the、uh, it's not enough time. So we have a after school kind of a club to pick up some better kids. So we hold them together,、uh, giving them some basic training or advanced, more advanced training for them to come up with a better. Uh, their product, may I say, product, okay, and then they go to the competition for each county, and for each county they pick up some of the good、uh, products and they go to the national. 
uh, national one, scratch only. So this is quite, uh, and I think the, the kids, also the teacher, they are having fun teaching or learning scratch in Taiwan. That's what I saw. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it, it's interesting to have, for instance, we don't have this kind of competition here. And uh, we'd like to know um, this after it's uh, privately, it's publicly, uh, how is the government uh, uh, objectives or goals to achieving this technological or computing science how is it in your country you mean the uh, government officials staff for supporting uh scratch or this kind of event that's what you mean yes or the government and, and the if they have some objectives for uh, teaching coding for uh, all children or not uh, how long uh, is these programs, uh, how are they investing or seeing this stuff for the future of the educational system in your country? Okay, from the government side, you mean? The government side? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, if yeah, they yeah. are helping or not, investing or not, or it's private, to, uh, how is it? Uh, let me ask him. Uh, uh, 你們看出來的政府啊,就是在Scratch方面有多少心理,包括全國性的或者是地方性的,有所有的計劃性的投資或者是教育或者是公民。Okay, uh, now the, the government here is promoting the uh, the yeah, coding or training or uh, this or coding concepts uh, educate the kids uh, now it's become an, a must for learning scratch uh, but not national but some school many many schools okay and government now they have this um, I, I should call it law or uh, I don't know how it's called in English they have this uh, practice that they want uh, kids to learn how to coding or having the coding concepts when they are still young. And so on the government side, I think they are promoting quite um, uh, aggressively. Right? And, but uh, it's only beginning, I think. From a point of view, it's beginning maybe within, maybe just for this uh, three or four years. And in the future, I think they have done. Uh, they will do. They will be doing a lot more events like competition or a camp, scratch camp, uh, and uh, many things. I think the the scratch is quite popular in Taiwan. So people, I mean, teacher. The most important is teacher loves to teach. They love to use scratch to teach kids. Like one time, I used to use uh, Scratch to teach kids English. Like how to turn right, how to turn left. I give them a coding uh, command, and then the, the, cat, the little cat will turn right and left, and kids feeling fine, and they learn English. So it's kind of multi, uh, uh, multi uh, uh, discipline, multi discipline uh, kind of thing. That's what I see, but. Basically, encoding concept is uh, what government uh, do. Uh, I hope I answered the question. <laughs> yes, you did. Thank you. And it is interesting you saying that you use Scratch to teach English, for instance. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not a technology teacher, too, although I know Scratch. But uh, I use Scratch to help children who, who has some problems at school. I use it for teaching English, and recently I use it to, to help a five-year-old child that couldn't learn how to read and write. Uh -huh. So I made special projects, interactive yeah. projects, uh, so I could help her 
to learn how to read and write because she was not able to learn it at school. Yeah. So it was amazing how fast she could learn it. So Scratch has this other feature, uh, use. Uh, yes, it's interesting that you say that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Someone King? Someone King? Yeah, yeah. Would you like to test something? Okay. Uh, thank you for your ex experience in Taiwan. Yeah, I'm very impressed and inspiring your ex uh, experience and uh, teaching experience. So I have a question. Uh, yeah. The com computing class for K-12 student Mm -hmm. uh, is, is that a compulsory subject yeah. for K twelve student? Yeah, for uh, from starting from K starting from K ten, uh, K nine or K ten. I'm not sure. Uh, fourth okay. grade, uh, third, grade. In, fourth, third grade. In elementary think, school, nine. Uh, from K nine to K twelve. Uh, K nine to K twelve, uh, compulsory 14, subject. Uh, 40 minutes a week only. Yeah. yeah. But for four wow. years. Wow. And for going to the uh, higher school, like uh, seventh grade, Gozong, 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 for a wow. computing class. They Is can that learn a question? scratch yeah. uh, programming or algorithm. Yeah, they can uh, programming. They yes, can learn programming, for, yeah. By code, and algorithm. Uh, coding, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Very good. Not everybody. I mean, some kids, as you know, always says uh, homework. But I know there is. Uh, uh, becoming more and more kids or young young uh, young adults, uh, they are okay. focusing more on coding, and I think their coding ability is improving. That's what I saw, what I see, and I think uh, some of it is. That's why we are promoting the uh, uh, open source software because they can do it at home. Like we teach at school, but they can also do it at home. But if we use Windows, we can teach them at school, but at home they have to buy the software, and which is... Uh, is there any... Okay, is there any yeah. course for text coding? Uh, text for example, coding. Python, yeah, Python or JavaScript. Uh, oh, okay. Text coding for K-12 student? I think uh, K-12, you mean K-12? Yeah, text coding. You can mean like, I like a Java language, that kind of thing. Yes, yes. Like a uh, Java or... Well, no, I don't think yeah. so. Uh, yeah. For the uh, the language itself, like Java or like uh, the language I see language, no, I don't think uh, they do the yeah, computer coding. Uh, do you have assessment. any any course? Do you have any text coding course for K-12 students? At school, you mean at school at a formal schedule? Yeah. We do it after school. Uh -huh. We have a class after school, that, but not in the regular school. regular yeah. week schedule class. No. Uh, uh, in Korea, I yeah. think uh, we'd like to know, Taka, uh, yeah. how is for in high school? What high school. do the students have at high school? Yeah, uh, they have a uh, more more time, more uh, advanced coding classes. What they have at, at high school? Uh, at high school, you mean uh, at the age of like seventeen, eh? Seventeen years old kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we have. Uh, they have coding class and also coding. We call it club. Uh, they have the uh, self organized uh, organization which the teacher will get the, uh, the those kids in interest 
they'll get together and have tra a training them as a um, coding person. And maybe some of them will go to competition or some of them will just learn the uh, computer language itself. Uh, I think high school, yes, they have. They have some class, but I don't really, uh, I personally don't really know how it's happening. Let me ask uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, um, now as high school level, they have at least one year of a regular computer class. And after that, they have also, they, if they are interested, they can go further, uh, organizing, organizing another class especially for them, like uh, the uh, Maker Club, Maker, uh, Maker Club, yes. Everybody know Maker, right? Okay. Uh, uh -huh. sorry. Yeah. Uh, and and um, uh, the uh, high school student, they I think there are many young kids. They come to this coding training in person, uh, but at school they only have one class, one year of computer training. That's it. Mm. We have, like Korea, we have, like, like Korea, we have a lot of examinations for, just for going to university. So that's, from my point of view, they will bury their, bury their interest in learning or going further about coding or any, any other thing except examination, uh, university entrance examination, that sort of stuff. I think, I think, uh, Su Wang, I yeah. think you, you understand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, we cannot hear the voice. Anders, do uh, uh, you have any questions? Adele? Yes. Adele? I think he's gone. I, I, I'm satisfied I'm with the, all I know from you there, yeah. uh, so I, I don't really have a question. I th uh, but I, I, I just uh, thought about you had Scratch from K to K12, Scratch all the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, uh, not not really all the way, but for they for have. Uh, it's not national, it's not national, that's my point. Okay. So I'm, I'm satisfied. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so good to, to know what you are doing. It's a, it's a little bit different in Sweden, but uh, yeah. yeah. We, are, we are starting to get coding into uh, the schools. Uh, this year and next year, so we mm. are a little bit behind. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have no 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 further questions. I. Yeah. Okay. What do you say? Okay. Uh, so I'm I'm very. Thankful for you participating in joining our group today and showing uh, your work. Uh, we know that you are a very active group in yeah. Taiwan. You, people have following your work in some way. Uh, yeah. We know that this, the language is still a problem for us because we yeah. don't speak Chinese. <laughs> as you have some problems with the coding in English. So I think we are in a time of our history that we are, things are changing and people are being connecting each time more and more. 
and so I'm very happy besides all these technical problems and difficulties we have for connecting. I think it's amazing having you here today with us and yeah. straightening these links among us and yeah. this partnership, this collaboration, sharing work is, uh, yeah. and that is the idea of this group, to make things closer and easier and help each other. So you are yeah. very welcoming. It was an honor to having you with us today. Same here. Uh, and uh, I'd like to say that our group is, um, we have representatives from many other countries, from mm -hmm. four continents. We have people, you see, from Africa, Europe, Americas, Asia. And it's an easygoing group, so it's, we don't have to, to sign points or it's a flexible group because everybody is very busy. We have mm -hmm. this shift time problem, uh, technical problems. Now we are recording these sessions so the others can watch them later. I hope and, people understand what we are doing. <laughs> yes. And I'd like to invite you to keep on uh, participating with uh, in our group. In okay, next session, uh, we have Alan Yorkens, the author of that site. Okay. He's an American teacher. Okay. Uh, the author of this Wise Lab. And I talked to him, with him today, and he's going to present something of his work. So it's going to be. We have much more things to to come. So uh, I, I technical or so many other kind of problems, but we are doing our best, and so we can grow and can develop in drawing forces and expertise to make it better for everyone. Okay, yeah, thank you. And we, we thank everybody who uh, patiently listened to us. <laughs> if we have more time, we can be uh, more well prepared. Uh, I just learned this from two days ago, and I, uh, if I, if I uh, know this event uh, earlier, I think we will be uh, better uh, prepared. Sorry about this uh, presentation. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us in this uh, way, so fast to, to prepare, but it was, yeah. it was great. And you can think about presenting something else okay. with more time <laughs> if you want to. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chen. Thank you. Very yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, bye. bye.